So we got all of these good notes on news essay. Um, let's take a couple that, you know, might be kind of related to each other. Why don't we do the fairness doctrine? Cool. All right. This is great. So just go ahead and select all of this. Cool. Copy it. Go back to Rome. Okay. And then we're going to make a new page called FCC fairness doctrine or however you want to call it. Yep. And then what do I click to control right O the page? What? Control O. We'll take cool. you straight to that page. Beautiful. Boom. And then go ahead and paste it in. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay. Now go ahead and get your articles metadata from the side. Uh, you don't need to copy the word articles, just those. Uh, That's right. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. And then you can move the Wikipedia article into the source. Is there any way to automatically do that or is that always There's just kind of a tedious? Yeah, there'd be a way to do it automatically if the whole line were that, but if you want to put it after the source attribute, then no. Um, if, there, if it's empty for recommended by, I'd probably just delete that line. You don't have to have it. So like instead of putting NA, oh, you can just delete it. it. Okay. And then I would make Wikipedia linked. So I'd highlight that and put it mm -hmm. in the, because then if you want to find everything you've ever gotten from Wikipedia, oh, uh, this, so this will, hold on, undo everything you just did. Okay. Now highlight Wikipedia. Yep. And type the left bracket twice. Ah. Oh. Yes, yeah, so that makes it a little bit speedier. Great. Yep. So then, um, just add a few tags based on whatever you think comes to mind, like remembering this document. And when do you decide to do a tag versus double brackets? Purely visual. So functionally, they're exactly the same. I, I just like to use tags when I don't want to read the information in my head. And I use double brackets when I do want to read it. So I'll show you an example of that in a moment here. Um, so for example, on that first block, you probably wouldn't need to uh, link FCC since you have FCC linked at the page level, right? Yeah. But let me just find another good one that might be linkable. I mean this, right? Well, no, because that's just another name for FCC, right? Got it. And you already linked FCC at the page level for the tags. So you don't Maybe need to like be like United States it. Supreme Court. Yeah. So that would be a good one um, to either link the whole thing or just Supreme Court up to you. And then mm -hmm. in the red line broadcasting co VFCC, I'd probably link that as well. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oops. So, oh, so I don't even need to press enter. Why aren't, why isn't that happening automatically? Why isn't what happening automatically? It's not going blue automatically. Oh, it's because you're still in that paragraph so when you're in the paragraph it's in edit mode but once you click out of it it'll be in like the finished mode where you'll see the link got it okay um but yeah then maybe you'd link like the name of the case like the red line broadcasting co vfcc yeah so that almost seems like a added layer to progressive summarization it's mm -hmm. like as if the top layer is linking the things that you think are most relevant Exactly. That's something I talk about in the course, people who are familiar with building a second brain and with progressive summarization is that layer one is doing the linking to the other pages because that, that stands out as you're skimming it, right? You're seeing Supreme Court, you're seeing the name of the case, uh, and that's going to help you quickly interpret what else this document's related to. Uh, and now what's really great about it is if you like go to that Supreme Court page that you made, so you can just click on that quickly. Right now you can see that you mentioned it in your FCC fairness doctrine, right? right? And so now we're starting to get into some of the things that are just harder to do in Evernote to have these kind of relations between stuff. So go back to the doc we were just on. And what I would say, um, oh, and if you wanna speed up the going back and forth, command left bracket will take you back, command right bracket will take you forward. Oh, wow. Yeah. How do you learn all these? That's a good question. I don't know how I know all these. <laughs> well, that, I mean, that one's actually a standard browser hotkey. That's not a Realm hotkey. Like you oh, can do God. that on any web page. 
Um, but so you've got that and you could definitely like go through and link, you know, a lot more stuff in here probably, but for the sake of the video, we, uh, maybe we should pull in a couple other documents, yep. but yeah, if, you see, if anything stands out, yeah. um, but yeah, let's go back to Evernote quickly okay. and then see what else stands out. Okay. So I see you've actually got something on the fairness doctrine here. What is that? It's up two notes. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. This is just a different, a different argument. And awesome. so as you can see one of the things I do when I read and I've actually forced myself to do this in Kindle is whenever mm -hmm. I make a highlight, cause I've made too many highlights is when I read a book, I write a note for almost every highlight that I make. And Smart. as you can see, they sort of stand out here and it's a really good way to limit yourself from making highlights and just basically make the work required to do it a little bit higher. Okay. So this is really cool. Um, let's, let's copy this one. Now, is this from a web page or is this from a book? This from a web page. It's from a web page. Okay. And is it like the text of the fairness doctrine? I don't think it is. I think it is an analysis of it. Analysis? Yeah. Okay. Either way. The writing totally is fine. too, the writing is too clear to be the text of a book. <laughs> to be the actual <laughs> text. Yeah. I hear you. Uh, okay, cool. So go back to Realm. Okay. And one thing I'm going to recommend here is uh, since you've, since this is a Wikipedia article, but it's about a thing like the FCC fairness doctrine, uh, for me with Wikipedia pages, I add dash Wikipedia to the name. And that just makes it really clear in search results and stuff that this is my, uh, slash is fine too, slash or dash, whatever you prefer. Um, just, this is like really helpful for me to know that this isn't the actual fairness doctrine. It's the right. Wikipedia page on it. Cool. Um, so now we can make another page for what you just copied. And instead of going back to the daily notes, you can totally do it that way too. Yep. What I'll often do is I'll just hit command U and then I'll just type in the name of the new document. So I think it's just the fairness doctrine, right? Yep. So type that in and then hit enter. Boom. And go ahead and paste and then pull in the metadata. And this is where the hotkeys get really nifty because like I've got a XRMA hotkey for plugging in the article metadata automatically. So it takes like a quarter second to do it instead of having yeah. to copy and paste from metadata all the time. I have something that- You I wanna check in uh, Alfred quickly? Yeah. Yeah, I have a snippet. Yeah, see Rome articles, XRMA. Oh, perfect. Okay, let's just start doing that. Okay, so let's just pr tr practice now. Let's try so. and make sure it works. And I go X R M A and it automatically Boom. populates. Yeah. They can move in the URL. There we go. That's yeah, another articles, FCC or add tags, yeah. And then do you usually have it one word here or two words? Well, so in this case, you've just linked it to itself, which isn't really necessary. Oh, got right? it. Because the name what, of this page is Fairness Doctrine. Would I want a tag for Fairness Doctrine or no? You probably would, yeah. So uh, you might, so what I would do personally is I would make a page, FCC Fairness Doctrine, and then I would call this one like Fairness Doctrine parentheses analysis or something. Got it. Because it's, again, it's not the actual Fairness Doctrine. So you could do a tag and then, uh, so one thing that's useful to know is you can do tag and then double brackets, and that's the same as a tag. So you do tag, double brackets. So how do I make a tag like that? Or, or sorry. The page? Um, the, the square brackets. Okay. So like this. Yeah, and then type the type fairness doctrine, exactly. Got it, okay. And now that's its own page, and it, yep. it'll show up as a tag. Cool. Um, so now you've got that. And then you could put in the author and recommended by stuff later, but let me show you what I do with these notes that you added. Cause this is like a really good example of where you start to get some value. Right. Um, so go down to where you say important reasoning. Okay, cool. And then what I want you to do is just delete that line. Okay. Then go to the block above it. Yep. And at the very end of it, so like after that last close parens, do hashtag lowercase important. Cool. And then you can just delete that empty bullet below it. Right. 
All right, now go to the very top right of the page. It might be hidden under the Zoom window if it's if yours looks the same as mine. Like go all the way up to the top right on that little filter and yeah. click on that and then click important. Wow. Good. Now you're only looking at the important stuff on this page. So if you've got a big page and you just, and you want to call out certain things for the future as like really important notes, now you've got a super quick way to do it without having to like scan through to find where you made a note to yourself that this is important. Wow. That's a huge bonus for books because with right. you end up with hundreds of highlights and a really good one, but it's a yeah. pain to look through. Nice. Yeah.